so let's say that you know I got a 20th century fox uh, logo parody here but what we need to do is we got we gotta make the camera move so there's a very easy way to do this you could just um, maybe like put your keyframes or whatever but this is a very sloppy way to do it as you can see because the camera doesn't always point at the structure um, and then sometimes it just drifts off like that. Um, that's not that's not necessarily what we want to do. So um, let's get rid of all the keyframes. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a curve. Um, curves are great for moving objects around. And so what we're going to do is we're going to move. Um, I'm going to set the cursor there. And we're gonna get the path and then what we're gonna do is we're going to um move this over so that it's like right um <clears throat> so that the endpoint's right there. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to you know make um the keyframes. So we're gonna like drag it around and make them make it move like the Century Fox. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select the camera and then the path and then I'm going to do control P follow path. Um, now doing it as we did there um, <laughs> that didn't really work out uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to set the cursor to there so we're going to put the select there. I'm going to do selection to cursor and um, it moves along, but it doesn't really rotate how we want it to rotate. So, what we're going to do is, so we're going to rotate the camera toward, wait, actually, no, we're not even going to do that. What we're going to do is, we're going to, you know, move here. And then what we're going to do is that, you know, set the cursor to the center. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add an empty arrows, select the camera, and then the arrows, and then Control T, track to constraints. So um, now what we can do is we can move it like this, and then so when the camera moves, it moves like this. Usually, what would reduce if the it would follow the path? What would happen is that it would just keep on doing it. It, it would what happens is that it would just be for. Um, 100 frames, but you can change it to about how long it is, um, which is, I'm using 60 frames per second, so it would be about um, 850. I'm going to go ahead and set the guys to 850. And then I'm just going to go into my video sequence editor and add the fanfare. And so now what we're going to do is so now that I have the fanfare, we're going to see how this goes. Mine's lagging out a bit, but you can definitely tell that it works. And then what's nice about this is instead of doing keyframes, it'll be very messy. So what we can do instead is, we can like, if we want to change something, we can just warp the um, thing. So we can warp the circle so it goes like... And then maybe perhaps it could like go there, just go through the freaking ground. Um, so, uh, yeah. Maybe we can make it a little bit more like it by doing it like this, uh, which is usually how it's done. Uh, so yeah. So that's it for today. I hope you like, subscribe, and share. Uh, possibly for more tutorials because this is my first one. And uh, have a great night.